Earlier we saw how to get back the values of a hash uh, when we already know what the keys are, so how to fetch one single value given a key. But what, if ha what happens if you don't know what keys are there and you would like to just fetch all of them? So there is the function called keys that works on a hash and it will return the list of keys. So in our example where we had a f name foo l name bar, this would return f name l name in some kind of an order. It doesn't have any specific order, so it will just return the fields, the keys, uh, and assign it to a, an array. And then we can go over that array, let's say with a for each loop. So this field will always get one of the fields, one of the keys from the hash, and then we'll print out the field and print out the corresponding value. So as you can see, within the ha within the curly braces, you can put not only specific keys, but you can also put an expression, uh, let's say a variable, a scalar variable, and then the value of that scalar variable is going to be the key, and then this is going to represent the value of that key. So this will print out key value pairs in some random order. Now, you can see that this fields array is only temporary array here used in assign, used to assign the keys and then to go over the elements. And I'm us using it only to explain this here in more step, uh, step by step way. Actually, most of the people would just take the keys, this code, and put in the parentheses. So instead of these fields, just put the keys user. And then this code is exactly is doing the same as this code without the temporary variable. This still doesn't mean that it will are saving a memory as some people would think. So some people would think, oh just do this because it, it, it saves memory. Now it doesn't, but it's not important probably. So we go over here, fetch the keys, and then go over each key, assign it to dollar field, the for each assigns it to a dollar field, and then print out the field and the corresponding value. Obviously this is still in a random way, there is no order how the keys returns the, the actual keys. So what if we would like to have it sorted? We already know how to, how to sor sort an array and that's what we are going to sort. We're going to sort the keys. So we fetch the keys again, and I'm again using these uh, temporary variables here. So if we fetch the keys, put into the fields array, then sort them, in this case according to the ASCII table, but you can, as you remember, you can put any uh, sorting function here in a curly brace, and then it will sort based on that. So we get the sorted fields here. These are still sorting the keys. And then we go over the sorted fields, printing out the field and the corresponding value. So this will print out the, all the keys sorted and the corresponding value. Again, these two fields and sorted fields were just temporary variables. And in a normal script, usually you would just take these keys, put in instead of the fields, and then you will have sort keys user, and then take that and replace the sorted fields here and that's how you get this piece of code. So you get sort keys user and the way it works of course is that first keys fetches all the keys and then that the output of keys is the input of sort and then it sorts according to the ASCII table and then once it's sorted then the forage takes over and goes over each one of the elements in the hash, each one of the keys in the hash, prints out the key and prints out the corresponding value.